All right, guys, we got our board briefing Sunday, May 8th. We'll go through the workout first. 20-minute uh, AMRAP, 5 pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, plus 20 pulls on the rower. So if this workout looks familiar to some of you guys, it is Cindy plus rowing. All right? Well, my camera's off a little bit. Now... That's levels RX and level two. Level one is five jumping pull-ups, 10 push-ups from our knees, 15 air squats, 10 pulls on the rower. All right, let's talk about some other things. So we only have 10 rowers in class, two bikes, one ski erg. So that's 13 objects. If there's 16 people in class, we're gonna have to do some other stuff and some of the scaling or not. Um, some of the other options for the workout are gonna be 20 pulls on the rower, 20 pulls on the ski, or one minute on the bike for calories, one minute of 25 foot shuttle runs, there and back, one rep, okay? Um, all viable options for the gym, um, if you're a rower, if there's not a rower or a bike or a skier, you're gonna have to do shuttle runs, okay? Maybe you can have someone in class you can partner up with and you can guys can switch back and forth, uh, that'll be fine as well. Now, scaling options uh, include, if we're not able to do the gymnastics part, which are the push-ups, our pull-ups, push-ups, air squats, in the big scram scheme of things, in about 90 seconds to two minutes, you might want to think about scaling to three, six, nine, okay? Pull-ups, coach, I don't have uh, regular kipping pull-ups, that's fine. Jumping pull-ups is probably the best option for today as, it's going to be quick and fast, and that's what we want. This is about metabolic conditioning. We want your heart rate to be elevated throughout the workout. So instead of getting into a band and messing about, get on a box, five jumping pull-ups, chin over the bar, lock out at the bottom, move on to the push-ups. Push-ups, um, keep, them, keep them real, right? So my chest and hips had hit at the same time on the way down, and I push up my chest and hips rise at the same time until I complete lockout. Air squats, below parallel, stand all the way up, okay? Um, make sure all the standards are followed to a T. Uh, don't leave any questions or the coach's judgment, right? Make sure you're doing them correctly. Now, what are we looking for? The big picture of reps and rounds, partial reps, rounds, okay? We're looking for eight to 12 rounds of this workout or 12 plus rounds of this workout. How many calories are we looking for every time we get on a cardio machine? Around 10 to 15. If you're a little bit stronger on those machines, you might be upwards of 15 to 20. If you're a little bit weaker, you might be around eight, okay? But that's generally average what we're looking for every time we get on the rower. Now, um, when it comes to the rower, bike, skier, riding, there's a couple things and that might not be obvious. If you're tired, you might not be, or you might not be pulling as hard. You're gonna get less calories, right? So you have to save something in the tank for that rower, skier, running, whatever it might be. Um, the faster you go, the more reps you get. The slower you go, the less reps you get. And at the end of the day, we want to we want to accumulate as many reps and calories as possible. So your score will be total repetitions for the rep workout, okay, plus total calories on the cardio machine or reps of running back and forth on the shuttle runs. Shuttle run, standard, same as the day before. Make sure both feet, one hand touches, three points of contact past the 20 foot, 25 foot line. Now, um, warm up, EMOM, three movements, uh, 45 seconds of each movement. And yeah, and then specific warm up, push ups and squat review. Okay, so a lot of times when we do this workout, Cindy, the lines get a little bit blurred with standards. And as I mentioned before, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Make sure you're meeting the standards. Okay, chest to deck, uh, locking all the way out, squatting below parallel. Okay, uh, and we have one set of pull-up review. And there's going to be five different movements. We're going to do kipping, swing, scat retractions, kipping pull-ups, strict pull-ups, or ring rows. That's another thing I forgot. Ring rows are also a good option for um, kipping pull-ups today. Fast, get to the rings, do five good 
strict ring rows, and then off to the neck push-ups. All right, guys, that is our day in a nutshell. Have some fun with it. Go hard. Um, yeah, this is part of our Murph. Um, we're doing Murph at the end of the month, and this is part of our Murph um, getting ready for Murph, getting that, those movements down. All right, guys, so enjoy yourself. Happy Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow.